you mean to me hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video tutorial on how to make your own custom zombies map now in my previous video I showed you guys how to use this program called lime from Tom Crawley where you can actually export models from black ops 1 and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to convert those files so it'll show up in radiant all right so first things first let's open up the root folder for uh, where lime is installed so mines I had it on my desktop it's actually 0 0.9 0.9.97 that's the version of the line so if you're wondering why they, it's numbered like that it's just a version guy got lazy he didn't want to call it anything else but numbers instead of line all right so double click on it open it up now in my last video we exported a model so if you go under exported you should see a model at least the one that I got or maybe something different so this is the model itself P pen chair boardroom that's the name of the model if you double click on it you can see that it has Maya files it has the X model export file that's the one that's we're actually gonna convert in, in, uh, in the asset viewer so with all these files in there you know don't touch anything if anything just uh, leave this one on the left and we're gonna also navigate to the root folder of World at War. So that I have it on the right. If you don't know where it's at, it's under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and World at War. So uh, let's, let me put this on the right. Leave this one on the left. Now on the root folder for World at War, you want to go to this folder called Model Export. So uh, double click on that. And we're actually going to make a new folder inside of this folder. And we're going to call it B01. Bad Odor 1. No, it's going to be uh, Black Ops 1. So press Enter. And we're actually going to copy these two files. Don't cut and paste them. Just copy them. Just in case you ever need them for later, you already have them. So we're going to copy those two. We're going to put them in the B01 folder. There you go. Now we're going to go back one under Lime. And we're going to go and navigate to the GDTs folder. Double click on that. And you're going to see this, uh, this file here. A Lime Super GDT Black Ops 1. All right, so back out of this one. You still want to stay under Model Export. You know, it's, you're going to see the folder Black Ops 1. And you're going to copy the GDT file and we're gonna paste it in here also and that part is done alright cool so now that we moved the files over to the root folder of World at War under model export we're gonna open up launcher and we're gonna to go to asset manager so click on that and we're also gonna to navigate to the GDT file so we're gonna click on file open and it went right to my model export all right if it doesn't do that for you same thing go to steam steam apps common war that war well call of duty war that war and then model export and as soon as you're in this uh section you're gonna see it right there lime super gdt underscore black ops one so double click on that there you go now right away it's gonna show you what file it's opened so it's under, for me, it's under Steam, uh, C Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Call of Duty, World at War, Model Export, and then the, the file name, Lime. So you already know it opened it up. All right, so first thing we want to convert is the material file. So you're going to see these two right on the top. Now, whenever you're converting a model that you exported, you always have to do the material first. If you don't do the material and you try to convert the model first, it's going to give you errors because it doesn't have the materials to combine it with the model. So with material highlighted, it's going to show the model that you exported or at least the material file for that. You know, highlight that one also. And it's going to give you some random information right over here. Now, the cool thing is about Lime is that it already fixed this information for you. So all we have to do is just go over to PC Convert, 
and then click on convert asset only. So we're going to click on that. There we go. I said converting one asset, reason, asset out of date. Whoa. Converting Black Ops 1. MTO stands for material. So it's converted the material file. It says material, two of one. And it said conversion done. Hit hit any key to continue. And there it is. All right, we already converted the material. Now let's do the model. So same thing as I said. Click on X model. Now highlight Black Ops 1 P pen chair boardroom. That's what the model is saying for me. If you have a different one, that's okay. Just make sure you highlight X model and the one under it. That way all this information comes out. And then same thing, we're going to go to PC Convert, Current Asset Only, and there it is. It converted the model also. There we go. All right, so now we can save this. Click Save. Close it out. Now the model is already converted, and now it will show up on Radiant. So let's uh, open up Radiant. Let's give it a good look-see. Let me close mine out because uh, I made sure I tested what I'm doing, but I want you guys to see it for the first time. So open up Radiant, you know, navigate to any um, map that you have. You don't even need to navigate to a map. You can right click, go to MISC, go to model. Or in fact, uh, let me show you, well, I'll show you right here. Now, the name of my model is P underscore pen. That's how it starts. So I'm going to go over to P. Let's see. Should be around here somewhere. That's why I prefer using um, Tom's X model utility because you won't have to go through this. You can just find it really quick. All right, you know what? We're going to do that. So, of course, you should have Tom's X model utility version 1.033. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to click on the program. I'm going to go to the bottom right where it says search. I'm going to put in P underscore pen. And there it is right on the top. It already found it. And there it is. There's the model we converted. Now these are just like little shaders and everything else like that. Once it's in the game, it's going to look completely perfect. So now that I found the model that I'm looking for, I'm going to right click on the name. That way I can copy it. There we go. I copied the name. I'm going to go back over to Radiant. Let me uh, go to MISC model and paste the name under file name click open and there it is there's the model and that's how you convert the files that way it'll show up in game so if you guys like the video hit that like button subscribe for future content and I'm also gonna make a part three because uh, right now you can add this into your game load it up and you'll be able to see it and interact with it but if you want to send the file to someone, like let's say if you already made a map and you want to send it to your buddy, you're going to have to put these certain files inside of the mod. That way it'll show up for them because they don't have the converted files that you do. So you're going to have to place that in the mod. If anything, I'll put that in my part three video on how to do that. But for now, mess around with it, you know, like uh, let's make some cool maps, put some cool models in. and if anything, I should be having the video up really soon. So uh, enjoy, guys. Thanks.